this is part two of the 98 Silverado bodywork videos. First thing I'm going to do is sand the hood and fender. All right, so I went over the fender and I went over the hood with a piece of scotch brat and on these areas with a piece of 80 grit knocked down some more of the scratches I also went all over the clear coat that was peeling you can't feel that now so now I'm going to take this piece of 220 and this mixing stick and wet sand the hood and fender figured I'd show this before it dried see the reflection in the fender ignore the different colors if you see the reflection Now Scotch brighted the majority of the hood and left it that way. You can see where I've had to feather where the paint was fucking up. That was a rock chip. These, if you can tell on that one, are from the rubber bumpers that you put on your hood for a bug deflector. For some reason the paint bu uh, bubbled up under it. Four, uh, 220'd all of this and all of this I have to go back and sand this a little bit more but then after it dries I'm going to spot prime well prime the whole fender but spot prime the hood and let that dry and sand it again. All right, so I taped off the truck with some plastic. And then I cut out the hood and fender and sprayed some primer. I have to sand that one more time. And then spray some sealer after the sealer flashes off I have to spray some base coat and then I have to spray some clear so mid video intermission put new bump stop rubbers on put the ones down the side here on the fenders now we're gonna see if the hood even shuts Oh yeah, she's tight. Tighter than Dick's hat band now. Maybe it won't rattle so much going down the road. Water scotch brighting. So tomorrow I have to go get uh, some reducer. And a uh, hardener for my clear. And a pint of base coat. And then I have to spray this stuff. I want to try to show you. Figure out a way to <coughs> keep the dirt, keep the paint off my phone. But still, let you see it. Probably use a Ziploc bag or something. I hope that this video does anything that it. Uh, Give somebody inspiration on how that they can paint theirs. It don't have to be a Chevrolet truck. It can be a anything hopes, you know. A lot of this stuff applies to any project.
a lot of people make it harder than it actually is on these YouTube videos. Right, so I sprayed the sealer on it as soon as this dries up the rest away. I want to start uh, putting the base coat on. So, I still have to put one more coat of clear on it, but here's what it looks like so far. When this dries, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll make a third one where it's reassembled and I'll show it outside. But this is with it painted. As you know, I had to rework the front of that hood and of course I got dirt in it surprise right but and I redid the front of that fender go into focus come on focus okay bottom of the fender And I had a uh, pretty good wave below the antenna. Doesn't match up here. Pretty close at the bottom, except the door's dirty. So, to me, it looks better. The fender's not wrecked anymore. So. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Really, I hope you learned something even if it's the wrong way to do something. Now, I could have got that fender and hood to match this door and that fender, but I would have had to spray and blend the base coat into the door and into that fender. Where do you draw the line? It's a 98 Chevrolet truck it's good enough once it's all clean 
it'll look fine. Until next time, God bless and thanks for watching.